Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continual support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we are going to be doing a declutter. I'm not a huge declutter person. Um, you won't see me, you know, having perfumes one month and then three months later, it's like 10 of them are leaving my collection. But once a year, I do like to take inventory and figure out like, are you, are you being worn? <laughs> if, if you've been sitting there 10 months, the season to actually wear you has passed again and I still haven't gravitated towards wearing you, then it's time for you to find a new home because what I don't believe in <laughs> is a sprayless collection. I want to be wearing and loving and gravitating towards everything in my collection. At this point, I'm running out of room for storage. So this declutter was actually very necessary. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Y'all, doing declutter videos, it makes me, it, it gives me anxiety just because we come on <laughs> YouTube, we, we ran and rave about stuff and we influence you to purchase a lot of these fragrances. And it kind of breaks my heart to, to hold something up that <laughs> maybe I convinced you to buy. And now you like, girl, you was ranting and raving about this six months ago. Why is it leaving? It's just, it, it, that is fragrance, you guys. That is fragrance. Um, sometimes we just have a season with it, you know, a, a, the season where we love it. We, we, we fell out of love with it. And so it's just time to move on. Um, so hopefully <laughs> no one takes offense, but these fragrances, I just, some, I don't like some were like blind buys and I'm just like, I can't get with it. <laughs> and then others, um, I've outgrown or my nose has changed and I just, it's, it's time, it's time, okay? So the first one on this list is a Velvet Orchid. I like the scent of this, but I don't think I've ever even worn this outside of the house <laughs> by Tom Ford. Um, beautiful, damn, now that I smell it, it's beautiful. But this is like a fragrance that is, it's that ambery, it's floral, it's got some depth, it's got some sweetness. I don't know why I don't wear it or gravitate towards it, but it is gorgeous. But there is, this is a 30 mil. Do you see where the den is? There is none. We're all the way up here, okay? I got this probably a year and a half ago. It should have been gone, okay? This is what I mean by spray this collection. This is what sit in the back and I feel like I have Nora Parfum. If I'm gonna move for something of this nature, then that's the one I'll pull for. But this one, I'm gonna go ahead and find her a new home. So, sorry, Velvet Orchid, you gotta go. So next up on this list, honey, this thing was a declutter before it even got to my, my mailbox. <sighs> Mashamaro was just on my list, wish list. And you know what? Being Miss Fassy May, I just, I just knew I was gonna love this fragrance. I knew I was gonna love it. Um, and so I went on ahead and placed my order to blind buy. Y'all, y'all was chiming in. See, this is what happens when you have your subbies backs, they gonna have your back. Y'all, the people that smelled it, everyone that smelled it was like, Sharita, it ain't, it's not what you think it's gonna be. It like, it doesn't, the notes don't describe the fragrance at all. And I agree. The notes for Mashamaro by Unique were absolutely exquisite. This that I'm smelling, oh, let me just update you. I got so many comments and DMs, I canceled my order. <laughs> I said, excuse me, can I cancel this $380 order? And let me go ahead and just get a sample. Thank God I listened to you guys because I would have been so pissed. You know what, I haven't even tried this on skin because I did not like it on paper. Let me just go ahead and give it a spray. But this is so, not gourmand really to me. This is very, very smoky to the point where it's like charred marshmallow. It's not like this roasted marshmallow. You know like um, commodities milk, it's got the roasted marshmallow. No, it smells like roasted marshmallows. This smells like 
Y'all don't put them marshmallows in the fire and you let them burn to their crispy black. And for some, ooh, mm. for some reason I'm getting a pickle juice spot. And that doesn't make sense to me either because normally the only way I would get a pickle juice vibe, if there is something citrusy at the top, like a bergamot, and then you have like a myrrh or benzo, something ambery. And sometimes in a fragrance, they can just collide in the wrong way, like Sultan by Royal Crown. Oh no, it smells like gherkins. Little pickles. And this, this is giving me pickles and charred, burnt, black, crisp marshmallow. And I do not, I don't like it at all. Like, you know what? It is a little better on skin, but it's absolutely nothing I would have wanted a full bottle of. <laughs> Y'all saved me $400. Yes, you did. All right, so next up, Sahara. I've talked about this in another video. This is a discontinued fragrance by Volgari and the notes were very simple. Um, and so I really didn't know what to expect. When you see something with three notes, it's always gonna be more than three notes, more than likely. And so you really don't know what to expect until you get it and smell it. Um, this fragrance just doesn't do it for me. And it, it's hard to describe why. I think this has like notes of benzoin Ylang Ylang and I want to say like sandalwood. So it's like, it's, it's this ambery yellow floral, but I'm not getting like, I thought it would be sweeter. That's what I, that's what I think would have helped this just a little sweeter. It has really no sweetness to me. And it's got like this funky something that happens on my skin and I don't know, I don't like it. My, my daughter said the same thing. So this one, um, I didn't even give a full wear. I just didn't like it on the little test runs, you know, I was having at home. Um, so yeah, Zahara by uh, Bulgari is born. All right, you guys, so next up on this list, honey, can you believe it is a fragrance to bois hitting the block. This is New York Fifth Avenue. You guys, this was my very first fragrance to buy purchase. I absolutely love the way it smelled on my skin from a 0 0.7 mil dabber from Lucky Scent. I didn't know no better back then. Honey, you are going to have a completely different wearing experience um, when you get a full bottle of something versus trying to sample something like that because I loved it. When I got the actual fragrance, I liked it. It was not a love. It was okay. It was a, it wore a lot more woody. Um, and it's just something I just really didn't gravitate toward. Like, it, look at the dent. This is practically full and I've had this for two years now, almost two years. So um, New York Fifth Avenue, we're going to find it a new home because I feel like this is definitely one that someone would love, but I just feel like I needed a little bit more sweetness or something is just, something is just missing. It's nice, it's not one that I hate, but it's not a love. So if I don't love it, I don't need it. All right, so next up on this list, brand new honey, blind buy. Y'all know how I feel about Epico's Vani Charnel. Love that fragrance. They came out with Vani Noir. Hate this fragrance. I hate it. It was like another vanilla from Epico. I must, I must partake. Lion bought it. Thank God that they are not pricey fragrances. They're like around that, I want to say like 150 price point. Y'all, let me tell you what this smells like. Pardon me if you hear something loud. It's hot as Hades today in Georgia. It was 30 something degrees last week. Now it's like 70. 70 something and it's just, it's just hot so I'm about to burn up. But you guys, let me tell you what this smells like. First of all, the vanilla, it's there, but it's not the star. To me, this is not the star of the show. It's very incensey and not incensey in a good way. This literally smells like the cheap incense that you get, you know, in the pack, with the little, the, I ain't talking about no fresh, you know, we at the church 
and we, we burn in frankincense. No, this is the incense that you get from the gas station, like in the packs. And there's nothing that I wanna smell like. This one definitely is more masculine. I can't remember the notes off the top of my head, but I read the notes. I thought it was something that I would love and I do not like, like I immediately <laughs> moved this into the declutter section of, you know, I haven't even given it a full wear. I, I, I don't need to because I made up my mind just, just from overspraying my arm when I first got it. This is not for me. I feel like they tried to make a masculine version um, of Vanny Charnel. Like this, I can see a man wearing and, you know, it smells better than what I remember. But this is leaning masculine. This isn't, this is not for me. Um, Vani Noir is like, y'all could have named it something else. <laughs> Cause y'all had me thinking I was about to be in Vanilla City. And now if the vanilla was way more prominent, um, I could probably get with this. But I don't like the way the incense is done. I think that is the main problem. It's spicy, it is dark, but I do not, I don't like it. Yeah, maybe on a man, but not on me. All right, so this one may come as a shock. There's a bond leaving the building. Oh, sorry. Turn it around the right way. New York Knights, I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter. Um, just something about the scent. I feel like I've just outgrown. Like I never wear it anymore that much. When I first got it, I absolutely loved this fragrance. And for some time, like I would love it. I would wear it. Massive compliment getter. But for me, I feel like I just don't feel like this is refined. Like, mm, it's gourmand. It's very heavy on the yellow floral. And it's almost giving me like banana Laffy Taffy now. Like, I feel like there's a childish something, like element something going on with this fragrance now. And I don't know if it's because it's gotten older, it's aged, certain notes are coming through in a different way but I'm comfortable with letting her go now. Now, um, my daughter has a half sister who is 18 now. She's absolutely in love with this fragrance. I've made her decants like she's in love. And because this is something that's out of her price range, I'm probably gonna just give this to her because I know she would just love it and wear it with passion. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry, Bonds. You're you're on the shopping block, goodbye. Okay, so next up you guys, I received this one in PR. This is the most conflicting fragrance experience ever. Usually I can make up my mind if I like a fragrance or not. Now some, yes, we do have to give more time or wears, I get that. But even after time and wears, this thing is still in the box because I'm like, oh, I wanna declutter it. No, I'm gonna eat more time. No, I wanna declutter it. This is Jardin's De Mispa, and this is like supposed to be rose, saffron. Um, I wanna say there's some gourmandish notes in there, but there is just something, something about it that is not translating well to my nose and my skin. Like I'm not reading the notes and getting what I thought I was gonna get. Does that make any sense? Um, and it just has a peculiar scent to me. Like I smell this and I don't know what I'm smelling. Like what notes are in here? I have not a wild clue unless somebody told me. And like I said, gifted in PR. Um, but honey, make no mistake. When people get stuff in PR, it doesn't mean anything. Like we're not obligated to talk about these fragrances. Um, yes, I could hype it up and and link the, the stuff and do the codes and get commissions, but that's just not me. Like I have to love a scent. Sometimes I'm on here purely reviewing things just because, oh, it's something, you know, new and people are gonna be interested in it. Like I did the Tom Ford. Like I know that people wanted to have my take <laughs> on those before buying. So that's different. As far as what I'm purchasing and bringing to you and presenting and telling you that I love, it's gonna be fragrances that I really, really do love. Um, so this one, I am going to go ahead and declutter because I wanna say I've had this for at least a couple months now. 
and it, like I said, it's still in the box. That's not a, this should have been out of the box, box on the way and a dent, a sizable dent if it was something that I love. Another one I've spoken about on this channel. I like the scent, but I never wear it. I, and then when I do wear it, it's almost like something a little slightly glowing and annoying. And I'm always like, I'm ready for this to wear off so I can wear something else. Commodity Milk Expressive. I think that I want the white bottle of this. There is just something, it is, it's not really, it's called milk, but it's really truly not a big lectonic scent. This has a little lectonic quality, but it's mostly a roasted marshmallow woody fragrance. And though it is a nice fragrance, look at the dent. Look at the dentation, okay? Look at the, there is no dent. I feel like I've, I've gone back and forth about this so much. I like it, but I don't love it. And I never wear it. Um. So, I mean, some people absolutely love this. Like, and like I said, it's, it's not that I don't like it. It's just, I never gravitate towards it really. Um, and I don't know you guys, it could be that it just, we don't even have winters anymore in Georgia. Talk about annoying. There are not many days where I'm gonna be able to put on something like this. Like this is dead cold weather type of roasted marshmallows and wood, it needs, it needs to be cold. It was probably cold three days here. That's it. And I think I wore it on a really cold day. I liked it again, but it wasn't a stone cold love. And if I don't love it, I'm not keeping it. All right, so next up is gonna be a decant that I actually purchased for my men's video. This is Oak in Oak, and this is from Sense of Wood. I didn't like this, not even on a man. I didn't like it. So let me spray this and tell you what I'm getting. Now, I love Plum and Kanye now. I'm gonna need me a full bottle of that sucker, but Oak and Oak wasn't intended for me to wear anyway, but boy, I'm smelling, this is very, very realistic Oak scent. Like you sniffing furniture up in here. I would love to see the way this translates on a man's skin, but there's no need for me to hold on to it. Like I paid for this, um, you know, so I might as well find a new home since it's sizable. Like I don't bother selling little stuff like this, you know, um, because this is just not worth my time. But something like this packaging for the decan is actually very beautiful. <laughs> like they got the wooden top, they got the gold foil. Like they really put the time and effort into their packaging. And I would just hate for this to sit and collect dust because yeah, I don't know. It's nice, but it's, it, it smelled a little odd on my skin when it really got to dry down. I kind of like it on paper. Hmm. But either way, it's not something that I will be wearing. And it's really not one that I feel comfortable with like raving about even in my men's video. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it because I really wouldn't even need it for a reference. Next three things I'm decluttering. Y'all don't come for me. Don't ask me, I know. <laughs> Brown Sugar Babe, making its way all around, uh, in, definitely Instagram. Um, I don't really see it too much on YouTube, but definitely Instagram. And I went and bought me $100 worth of body oils, you guys. I don't really, I'm not a fan. And it, you know what? The thing is, the oil is, The actual base oils that they use in here, the scent of that, like if you've got like, um, I don't know what, can, let me see if I can get some ingredients. Okay, castor oil, avocado. So these are supposed to be actually very, very no nourishing for the skin, which I would assume they definitely are. They have a good smell to them, but the castor oil scent, okay, Grape seed avocado, I feel like I can smell that cooking oil, castor oil scent coming through. Now, if I get like my Nishane body oil um, and I rub it in, all I'm smelling is fragrance. That's all I wanna smell. To me, like the actual base oils, the scent of it is too potent for me. It's like over, over, like, 
I don't know, it's more fragrant than the fragrance of the oils. And so I don't want to like use these and just be ho-hum about it, um, you know, and be wasteful. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and declutter these just because they really haven't even been used. I tested just a little, um, like this one haven't been used at all. Uh, this one, I took the cap off, but as you can see, like hardly, not, it's all the way up here, child. Like I gave it a quick test and I just, it, it didn't agree with me. Um, so yeah, so those are gonna be gone and I hate it because, you know, it's a black owned brand. Um, I really wanted to support and it's not that these are bad products. The scents, they're beautiful. Like the way that she's formulated the scents, they are beautiful, like the caked up. But again, the castor oil scent is just, it's too strong to my nose. All right, last but not least, you guys, can you believe it? <laughs> Centra by Memo. I'm gonna say that this, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter because it's not getting a lot of wears. I feel like Neroli Block Intense has just come in and taken over all the orange blossoms. I could confidently and very comfortably declutter my my orange blossoms because that if I'm in a mood for orange blossom, that's what I'm wearing. Um, do I want to hang on to this a little bit longer? And see, this thing I'm smelling it from the thing, and I'm getting all this pedigree, but that's not how it dries down. I don't know. I might put this in the I don't know pal because I feel like I'm gonna regret it. But I barely wear my orange blossom marshmallowy scents. Like I barely wear love. Don't be shy, even though I would never declutter that. It's just something that I don't pull for often. And now I've got like three of those in my collection. I've got two Love Don't Be Shy bottles. I've got this, like it's too much. It is too much. And I really don't want to declutter my Love Don't Be Shy's. Um, so I might have to part with my Centra. I used to always layer them. I still do, but it's just, I don't know. It's just a scent profile that I don't wear often. And I don't need three of those like similar um, perfumes in my collection right now. So yeah, you guys, let me know fragrances that are on the chopping block that you are considering decluttering. These are my declutters. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. And y'all don't be talking to me trying to come back, okay? Don't make me get, get sad and have feelings and change my mind because y'all need to go. All right, so that is our video for today, you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Be sure notification bell is turned on to all so that you never miss any of my uploads. And last but not least, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow. It isn't real. I love you all, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.